And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. He's C. And she's Joel. Just Joel. Every week is like your birthday as we gift you guys new knives. So this time they're from brands like CRKT, Cansep, Bark River, and Shielden. So let's get the ball rolling with the Columbia River Knife and Tool Rip Snort Dose. Yep, specs. So this folder, only one option right now is 8.28 inches overall with a 3.48 inch plain edge HCR 13 MOV stainless cleaver style blade. With satin finish, it's about 0.13 inches thick and it's got jimping, what? So blade is opened with the dual sided thumb studs and operates on IKBS ball bearings. So CRKT. Handle is black GRN, glass Cast reinforced, reinforced nylon. nylon with lanyard hole and tip down deep carry pocket clip. Look at that. Lastly, this liner lock can be easily closed with just one hand. Hold on, hold on. <gasps> Ready? What? Was designed by Philip Booth in Ithaca, Michigan, and is just 5684 at alandknife.com. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna go first. So. Do it. Not much different from the original Rip Snort. Original had silver pocket clip, not black. Uh, blade on the original was open with a flipper stud, not thumb studs. Uh, lastly, the original was like half an inch smaller mm -hmm. and had a black palm handle, which is like polyoxymethylene, i.e. plastic. Everything else, like the steel on the blade, the jimping overall look is about the same as this one. To be honest, the CRKT design is okay i mean it opens well cuts nicely it looks good but it's crkt it's 8 cr 13 mob for 55 bucks whatever you could say about that all right go ahead see i'll do it there you go well i mean i actually like the knife i, I like the design of it i think it looks better than the old rip snort it looks exactly the same i'm sorry it looks it just, a little looks, looks a little class here like you said materials you know, the, the larger companies, they did do some better materials this year on some of the knives. But not this one. But not all of them. This one is 8CR13, and it was 8CR13 before. It's like they did the exact same knife. It's so got AKBS. Let's take away the flipper stud and make it a little bigger. This is pretty nice. Though. I mean, you know. I know. I'm the name. For budget. I'm the bad cop on this side. All right. Next blade. Bark River. Edwin. Forrest. Bowie. Yep. Few different options here. Wow. I know. Lots As of options. As per the, there's no way that's going to be in case. You better just slide it back and forth. I'll just keep it right here. Is okay. that really getting in? No. There's no way that's getting in. How about in. like at an angle? Well, the, the, the camera girl is almost outside the building. <laughs> okay. As per the North Park River, we've got the natural canvas Macarta one. So this fixed blade is 17 inches overall. Yeah. Most of it's blade. With 12.25 inch satin finish A2 tool steel clip point blade. Yeah. Handle as natural micarta canvas, brass bolsters, and comes with a brown this is leather sheath. There it is. Yes. I'm gonna bring it right here. Is that good? Yep. Yeah. Where's that come right. from? Handmade in Escanaba, Michigan. This right. full tang forest creature is just $299.94. From AtlantaKnife.com. Wow. Yeah, you, I know. You can go first. Awesome creation. Um, hmm. Let's see. Are we going to worry about practicality or aesthetics? Just tell them what you think. Then, 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 then. Tell you what. We could carve a pumpkin with that sucker. Slice I'd be it afraid in I'd half. cut my hand off. This would slice through the pumpkin. Well, you're not going to use it for a defensive knife unless you're Hold out on. in the woods with a bear. Hold on. <laughs> I'm holding a piece of American history uh, right in my hand. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> it's it, it's it's pretty well balanced. I mean, it's going to fall forward a little because it is 12 inches of blade. But it's sharp, so whatever you use a knife for this size for, it will do. Yeah, I, don't I don't know what you're doing. I'm skinning a moose. Well, you know, I mean, it's not like it's that heavy. It weighs in at 11 pounds, 8 ounces. So, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Just 11 pounds. Not quite. A little less. All right. I don't know. I, I get your I point. like the look, but I feel like it's... Nice handle of it, isn't it? It's a display. Nice design. Oh, I mean, come on. 300 bucks. It's a display. 
It's nice though. All right. You couldn't even get it out of you. You had to do a leg carry. I don't think it really even has I that. Think, I think if you were you to could. carry this on your belt, it's hard to get out of the sheath. Bad things might happen. Carl Straw. So. Like a sword. All right. It is like a sword. All right. Following the Bark River, which was Ooh. this massive piece of metal. Gotta follow that up. You know what you're getting your money's worth there. You are. You get like 12 rip snorts out of that. That's true. That's true. Is the Cancept XL Goblin. I think Cancept has cracked the case. They have discovered what people really want really big folders <laughs> that's all us. right look at that i wish it had a flipper stud on the back mm. but it's xl and you can open some with the thumb hole so i'll overlook it so there's three options on this right now there is the blackout the titanium and the bronze and we of course have the blackout as you see yep so it is 8.82 .8 inches overall with a 3.5 inch black titanium carbonitrated Warncliffe style CPM S35VM blade with plain edge, flat grind, 0 0.13 inches thick jumping, and is opened with either the front flipper tab, Ooh. Wow, the thumb hole, yeah, I said it, or some people like to do the, the finger flick. I'm not doing that, but you could do a swish and flick right there. This frame lock is as versatile as you. So knife features a black anodized titanium handle, tip up right carry pocket clip, black pouch, so can set, and was designed by Marshall Noble. Did you say swish and flick? Is that the thing that they did on Clueless? No. Oh, okay. Inspired by the 1984 US Air Force XF-85 Goblin. Boy, I tell you what. I know the Chinese know our history way better than we did. <laughs> well, Marshall Noble, he designed this, and maybe you know, maybe he's he American. He maybe he out. flew the experimental fighter jet. Maybe this folder can fly right to you fast with our free shipping for only $195 at landknife.com. Yep, plugs keep coming. Alrighty, thoughts on this? See. All right. Well, thank you. I would I would be in <clears throat> with a flipper stud. But it's got a Medford look to it. It does. Oh my god! It's gosh, not as that's beasty. About what I was thinking. It's like, but it doesn't have Medford Price either. I can't say that. It's like uh, <coughs> I don't want to know what that what it's gonna be. It's like Medford Light. You know, it's got a For nice. For those who want a little diet, you go yeah, with the Medford Light. I mean, you know, he would he would kill us if a Doberman us. is Medford. This is a Pomeranian, but a fierce one. Let me tell you, I'm little palms. Well, those little chihuahuas, man. You can get up on I don't you. like those. Watch out. All right. Okay, I like it. I know it's a front yes. flipper. But there's other ways to open it. And it's XL, like the Cancept Corvid, which you guys know from like two episodes ago was huge and we really liked. This one is actually oodles better than the original Cancept Goblin, in my opinion. That one was like five inches, six inches. Mm. So small. I mean, it was nice, but come on. XL. Not to mention you get the titanium and the S35 yen. Yep. It's great. So from the goblin, we creep to our next knife. Ooh. The CRKT Ramadi. Ramadi. Yep. But first, guys, you need to take those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons around the town via jazz hands. There yep. we go. While you're at it, you can hit the hit the bell. You know, ring the bell. That way you're notified whenever we drop new videos or upload posts. You also get entered in giveaways. Ah, guess what? Speaking of giveaways, <coughs> we've reached the end of the CJRB giveaway. So, on YouTube. The YouTube people. The YouTube. The winner of the CJRB Tigers. It's roaring. Is none other than Bob Marinello. Wow. Wait, what's that uh, on Guitar oh, Hero? No, yeah. And that guy who plays the Tom. Tom Morello. Morello. That's right. Morello. That's right. Rage. Does, it, does he do the Rage Against the Machine song, I think, but not his song? I can't remember. I can't remember either. All right. While over on AK's blog, I know we're so many. Uh, the person going home with a brand new high mileage CJRB Scoria is Harry. Can't read your writing. Meyer. Meyer. Harry? Harry. Yes, it is me. <laughs> Well, that's what, you're I'm a spy. that's what you go with. <laughs> that's okay. all I got. I got Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, I had uh -huh. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, uh -huh. okay. I didn't think about that. That's pointing. Uh, I right. got you. Okay. Thanks to everyone 
who got in on these giveaways. We really love hearing from you guys. And thanks to CGRB for sponsoring them. Okay, so almost the end of an era. However, when one falls, another rises. That's what I've heard. History has shown us that much because it is the yeah. past. We're giving rise to our new giveaways. Because of this blowout of CRKTs, we're now giving away CRKTs <gasps> on the YouTube. <laughs> if you like, share, comment, and subscribe, you'll be entered to win the CRKT last year's Largo. Yeah. I wonder why that was on the table. Now you know why. Yep. Yep. And the same goes for AK's blog. If you answer the AK trivia question, you'll be entered to win. The CRKT KHC Chopper. Oh, I thought it was going to be the chance in hell. No. Uh, <laughs> no, that's your mother-in-law's. <laughs> hey no, that's no chance. Oh, it's no chance. Yeah. Okay. See, you noticed something here. We kind of did a play on the Largo, a mini one, like the Goliath last week. That, oh, yeah, and then we did a I giant. It. It's like we were in an inside joke and yeah. had a sense of humor that we didn't even know we had. Exactly. And that no one else really knows. <laughs> So, links in the description down below. Yep. So, just follow that up. Yeah, there you go. Nice big knives like big knives. All right. Okay, so we're on to the CRKT Ramadi. So, dropping the mic, C's picking it up. All right. Go ahead. This fixed carry only has one option right now. <laughs> Designed by Darren Williamsonris <laughs> in Fayetteville. Oh, I didn't say William Part. I'm sorry, middle name. In Fayetteville, North Carolina. This tactical carry is 8.5 inch overall with a 4.37 inch plain edge SK5 yeah. powder coated steel blade. It's about 0.17 inch thick with jimping and a yes. usable finger choil. Look at that. Handle is Coyote Brown G10, which gives excellent grip in all conditions. Lastly, it comes with a multiple carry option sheath. Mm. This knife is part of CRKT. Forged by War series, <laughs> as they, they mentioned. And because of that, a portion of its proceeds will be donated by CRKT to the charity of the designer's choice. In case you're all interested, this one is the Purple Heart Homes. All right. Yeah. This designed by veterans in mind. Ooh. Look at that. Well, there went the veterans. Yep. It was designed with veterans in mind. No sheath. It's just seventy nine, eighty four, at Atlantic Knife. Dot com. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to focus on design, Thank you. even though we're, you know, we like buying this knife and give some back, but, yeah. you know, not can't, get, that sway us. can't make, you know, yeah. we're not letting that uh, change the way we think. So exactly. here we go. Go ahead, All you right. do it. On this knife, I like the size and the feel. I also noticed that the designer gave us like a little bump here. You guys didn't see it slid right off the table, so we take the sheath off. Thank you. I'm sorry. Just, can you grow up a little? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not crazy about the color. <laughs> we watched Boiler Room. So when you said bump. That's great. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I would have gone black out on this, or at least maybe something with like a mixture of G10 colors. However, everything else is gray. I like the SK5 steel, which is like a Japanese carbon steel. Um, stands for steel kugu, if anyone's interested, which means steel tool. Oh, I didn't care. Anyway, in case you What's were wondering. What's the five stand for? I can't remember. Five. <laughs> no. Anyways, um, it's got good du durability, very hard resist damage well, um, mm -hmm. good edge retention, uh, pretty good about resisting corrosion too, however, it is more difficult to sharpen, not good to leave in wet conditions, so it's not a tour. Sorry. Mm. And depending on the level of carbon in this, because there's different, the companies make different SK5s, mm -hmm. they're not all the same. It can be a little more brittle, so all in all, it's a good bargain for the price of yes. What about you? Well, the SK5 I have experience with, mm -hmm. I like. All right. It's all cold steel stuff, pretty much. Uh, I think there is some, um, oh, is it Ontario? I can't remember. One Zero of those. Design. Works pretty good. Yep. I don't have much problem with it. All right. This knife here. Yep. Um, there you go. I like the sheath. I forgot how much <clears> I said <throat> it was. Did I say 79? I don't think so. I can't yes, remember. Yes, 79. It's okay. 79 bucks. At that price point, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. We're getting close to having an Essie. And maybe a little of a top, uh, tops feel type of thing. At that point, oh, tops. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. At 80 bucks, I'm going tops or Essie. Yeah, except you can't really get a tops for. I can get an Essie for it about 100, okay. 90 some. Yeah. And, you know. A little bigger. 
little yeah. more heftier. Tops, I might have to go 100 or 115 to get a bob or something like that. But come on. If I'm, if I'm strapped for 20 bucks at an $80 price point, then I just need to put it away for a week and buy next week. I like this knife. Don't I get do me wrong. like. I like this one. I, I don't like the color. That's the only thing that's turning. But me it's kind of out of CRKT character. That that's what I thought when I picked it. I was like SK five's a little weird. For, I mean, they've done SK five before, but yeah, and SK five. I mean, you can get that off of uh, cold steel in the forties and fifties and sixties. I mean, well, I haven't field tested the CRKT's SK five versus I haven't cold either. steels. I like it the feel of this knife, and it has that. I love yes. this part. Now, it's not quite long enough for it me to. Should be a little to, longer. But you know, I, I mean, I kind of like it because I have no. If little, you're a tiny CRKT hands, guy, so it fits pretty well. This is a good knife. And for you get the, you. The, yep. the mounting too. Yep. So. And you ain't got to pay for it. <coughs> exactly. For ten bucks, like right. you do with other exactly. people. Exactly. I don't want to mention those now. Okay, go ahead. I guess by that point, you're at seventy nine dollars when Exactly. Next right. knife on the table. Next knife on the table is another new Shielden, the latest model of the Bazookan. Which I feel like is another one of, you know. Is it like a bazooka and a toucan slammed together? Sort a bazooka? Yes. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. I, wasn't there a, oh, a best tech toucan? Uh -huh. uh, um, <laughs> this worked well, uh, this, this type of uh, tactic for the Bulbasaur, so why not? We'll go uh, do the specs first. So there's two options on this one. There is a black... And then there's this one. So, <laughs> this knife is 7.95 inches overall with a 3.43 inch gray titanium coated sheep's foot D2 blade. Mm -hmm. It's got a flat grind, plain edge, touch of jimping, and is deployed with either the lanyard hole or jim flipper. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I out of frame? She's making this face, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, wah, handle wah, on this wah. one is a mixture of black and brown G10. And has a lantern hole, black nylon belt pouch, which is right here. Look at that. Yeah. And a tip up pocket clip. Finally, this liner lock operates on ceramic ball bearings and was designed by, go ahead. Uh, Django. It is available at AtlanticKnife.com for $50.78. All right. That's less expensive than the two. Go ahead. Okay. Let's see. Well, what are your thoughts? let's go back to the copy thing again. If it is a copy, it's better. <laughs> it's less expensive than other people. They don't advertise their knives very well. They don't, I they love don't their move brand. very well. I love their brand, so, but they just... It's a good design on the on the uh, handle scales. Mm -hmm. I like the clip. I normally wouldn't like black and brown together, but this looks nice. And, and the shield and stuff is really starting to... Pick up. Yeah, it's in that... Savivi mode where it was at the beginning. Crapping I think it's gonna pick up yep. a little more. I hope it does. It's a good price because this design reminds me a lot of the Best Tech Platypus. And then when you said the two canners, the name because look at the it kind of looks like the bill of mm -hmm. it. It's a little thinner, but it's got that look. Yep. Which I really liked. Good that the D2 is approaching like QSP's D2 price. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I like them getting closer. I also like the flipper stud. It's a good size. Got the jimping, works well, doesn't hurt or anything. Mm -hmm. Handle is nice. I think this is a great pocket knife in my opinion. I do too. All right, that leads us. I know which one it is. The final knife on the table. The CRKT curfew. Woo, see that snap to attention. That's a C phrase for you. Yep. All you. All right, here we go. Coming in at 7.31 inch. Overall, this liner lock is a sleek EDC that opens quickly. As she just showed you. Thanks to Ken Onion's smooth as silk assisted opening. Yep. Operates on IKBS. Ball bearings with an 8CR13 MOV satin finish. Plain edge blade deployed with a jimped flipper stud. stud. Yes. Handle is white resin infused fiber with the black aluminum bolster. Sports a low profile pocket clip designed by Russ Comer and Fargo, North Dakota. This Jim Carry is only $69.84 at landknife.com. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty it's got short. Got one problem, doesn't it? Hold on, just pretty short for me. It's nice. I'm not like in love with it. It cuts. I don't like the flipper stud. You don't? It's too it's too sharp. I don't know if they put too much jimping or they 
it just mm. you know there are certain styles of knives that I knives that I really like I really like this knife I like the style of it when I saw it mm -hmm. I thought oh my gosh we're gonna sell so many of those I things mean, I do like the the white resin like it was on the ritual yep I think it may have been what it was. It's That's a, probably what you like about a, it, is it? It's an ivory look, even though it's not, with, you can see the... Huge contrast. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's so nice. And I like to but look at it. But it has blade. one issue. <sighs> the assisted opening? No, it's the okay, 8CR13. Oh, yes. I mean, you know, hey, Seuss. I mean, let's it's get... Hold on, it's CRKT. I know, I, I, always I get it. That I get it. From them. But we're at a 69.84 price point. Can you Inflation. just please? Inflation. Please. Please. No. Give me D2. Well, they give you D2 on. What I know. It? I know. Other night. And they give you SK5. Yeah. SK9, yeah, they did. So. They didn't give it to you. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. But that knife, I mean, man. I think they made the bar too high from last year. <clears throat> that's what I think. We were expecting another cool take on the CEO or another ritual. Well, you know, they go to all these high well-known uh, designers. Yeah, and then and this is what they come back with. It's a little disappointing. I mean, th not the design, though. See, I like the design. Except they went 8CR13. Why didn't he insist? Did Look. Put I, a higher I quality? Insist. Just a little. I mean, anything. Sandvik. Do something. I mean, I think they did a, a Sandvik or a, a 1.416 one steel. That, they did that much. One. That was fine. I saw that one. Okay. It can't be that much more expensive. Maybe they like their 8CR13. They probably have buckets of Maybe it. Maybe they don't like selling that many knives. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you. I don't know. I, we could have sold triple the amount with a different steel. That's probably true. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. You know, you never know. You never know. So, guys, that was our last blade. Please, before we tell you our favorites, we need you to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. Oh, that way you can win, uh, yep. free stuff. Yep, get a free win. Free stuff. <clears throat> Along with ringing the bell. And if we don't see you hit those buttons there, you don't see cool knife content here. Exactly. Or great giveaway opportunities. Yep, so. On the YouTube. <laughs> We're now giving away the CRKT Largo. Yep. And on AK's blog, make sure to answer the AK trivia question so you can be entered to win the, without knocking it over, the CRKT KHC Chopper, which I didn't Gigantic take out of here. Gigantic thing. But yeah. We're also on social good. media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. Yeah. We've got AK deals, videos, photos, and more. So make sure to check us out on those. All right. Favorites of the week. Okay. Favorites this week. Right now, it's going to be a little difficult for me because there was three that I, I, I liked a lot, but there was, you know, just a little something about each one. <clears throat> so I got the Cancept Goblin. It didn't have a front flipper. The Ramadi, which I liked. And then the Shielden Bazookan. They're all so different, so snazzy at the same time. I'm just going to choose at random. So... Do, 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 do. What one was it now? Oh, okay. I'm so, sorry. I, I was went, too busy in mis disbelief. I think mean, you're choosing them in random. Yeah, it was random. You going was, with that one? I'm going with the can't have goblin. You know week. what? I know what I said I would do. You're going to change your mind, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. Gosh, yes, I knew I am. you were. I was going to go with the Bark River. With the Bark River. Because that is a But monster. you know what you've done? You what? have convinced me to go bazookin. What? Yep, because I liked, you know... I would have went CRJB Tigress. You cannot go with the winning knives. Those are not the knives this week. But I'll go Bazooka. You're going to go Bazooka. And you know what's funny? we got so many oh. new knives coming over the next few I weeks. I know. I know. I can't even tell you. There's already a line of them over there. So It's like a big know. conga line. All right, guys. That's it for this week. Like always, I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel. And we are signing off. <laughs>